Welcome back everyone, Scott here and we're continuing our next update in this series of our 25 way trim restoration product longevity test. I always like to recap the previous month's weather and this video is showing you a rare sight for Texas, the white stuff. We got about four inches or 10 centimeters overall and it was wet and heavy. It only snows here about once every three to four years so you can rest assured that we were out making snowmen out of it. Uh, the last 30 days, the average temperature was 47, 8.5 degrees. High was 72 or 22 degrees, and the low was 23 degrees or minus 5, with about 4.5 inches or 11.5 centimeters of precipitation. So if you're new to the channel and not familiar with how these tests go, uh, basically I've been doing these tests for the better part of six years now, and this panel in this instance, we'll sit outside of our shop here in East Texas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and we will wash and inspect it on a monthly basis until the last one fails. I do have another trim test focusing more on the ceramic trim coatings that I've just started on the first day of February 2021, so please check out my other videos so you can make sure you can see that one as well. So if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And of course, hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new update goes live. I'd like to remind you that I'm completely unsponsored and that 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket, unless otherwise stated. Any of the other products you see in this test can be found and purchased using the Amazon Associates links in the description below. It does help the channel out if you use those links. Another way you can support the channel is through patreon.com slash scotthd. And remember that 100% of the money received goes right back into buying more products for this test. So with that out of the way, let's get to the wash. And if you followed this test long enough, you know the drill. But for those of us just joining us, the wash process goes like this. So first we're going to foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. We're going to let it dwell, rinse it off, foam it again, wash it before, of course, rinsing things off. And then we're going to dry it with a MetroVac Master Blaster 8-horse dryer using heated and filtered air. Let's see how things are holding up on the black panel, which is from a 2005 Chevy Avalanche. This panel only has one coat of each of the products as opposed to the gray panel on top, which has two coats. But the gray panel seems to be giving the products a much harder time than this black panel. Remember, these, uh, these products have been on this panel now for five months and counting outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So last month on the black panel, we had Armor All Outlast marked as weak on the top row along with Kiwi Black Shoe Dye and Turtle Wax Trim as the only ones hanging in there and it seems that this month there isn't any change on the bottom row wipe new Cerakote and that black stuff are all doing fantastic with marking Ceratrim uh, the, that last coat or the last coat Ceratrim failed last month and you can definitely see why so it's it's pretty much gone shine supply trim paint is looking strong as does Malco Epic Revive New. Solution Finish and Nano Cotex Regen also doing well. So well done. Getting pretty close to a top five left on this panel now. So let's jump over to the gray panel and see how things are looking over there. So my heat gun and torch method are looking pretty decent, although I don't recommend you do this as it will significantly weaken the plastic. Everything else on the top row is looking pretty far gone, maybe except for Armor All Outlast, which is it's looking weak. And I uh, let's go ahead and mark it weak at the five month mark here on the spreadsheet. Forever Black, that was failed a long time ago. And yeah, everything else is gone on that row. So moving on to the bottom row, the same three as on the black panel, Wipe New, Cerakote, and of course that black stuff, doing great on this panel as well. So if you wanted to choose a top three, that may be your tr your top three right there. Pretty close. And uh, although Cerakote is just starting to show some signs of fading. So Malco Epic Revive New. It is showing evidence of lightening up a little bit. You can see how there's wavy lines in it, uh, through it. 
but we're not going to mark it weak just yet. Solution finish, would you call that failed? It's pretty close, but again, we'll leave it weak for now. And then nano cotex region also starting to show some signs of weakening. So, man, this gray panel is a lot harder on these products than the black one. So there you have it, five months. Next month, after the usual update, we'll bring in both of these panels inside our shop, inspect everything very closely as they approach the half-year mark. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.